Hey Camp Family, it's Nurse Lulu with Camp Summit at Home. Welcome back and happy early Thanksgiving. Um, so today we are making one of the most intense craft projects that we've done all fall. So get ready. <laughs> As always, there are step-by-step -step instructions with pictures online on our Camp Summit at Home activity page. So if you just click through to that activity page, you can get the step-by-step. -step. So for this project, you'll need, actually before we get to that, let me show you what you're making. An adorable pom-pom turkey. Oh my gosh, he's so cute and he feels so fun. So as you can see, looking at this guy, you'll need lots of brown yarn, some googly eyes, some orange, red, and brown felt or construction paper or cardstock, um, feathers, some orange pipe cleaners, and also either some used um, or scrap, I should say, scrap, cardboard, or thick cardstock to use as part of this tail back here. So, first step is wrapping your yarn around a book of some sort. Um, I suggest a smaller book and wrapping kind of like this because it makes a tighter pom-pom, um, which makes it a little bit easier. So I went ahead and did that ahead of time for the sake of this video, but you're going to wrap your yarn around your book about 125 times, more if you want a tighter looking pom-pom. Then once the... Um, once you've gotten it wrapped around enough times, you'll cut 12 inch extra pieces of string and you'll tie one of those pieces around the wrap that you made around the book, tie it in a knot, and then slip the yarn off of the book. Once it's off the book, cut about an inch or two away from the tie that you made and that'll make your little head pom-pom, okay? And if you wanna trim it to look more like a sphere, you can do that now, or you can wait until you finish your body pom-pom. For the body pom-pom, take the remaining pieces of yarn that you have, fold them in half, and then tie your extra 12-inch piece of yarn in a knot around the middle of that half and then cut the loop end. So if you have a whole bunch of, imagine this is all of the yarn that you have, 125 strands of it, you'll fold it in half, tie your extra 12 inch piece around all of those pieces together, it'll make a nice big wad, tie that in a knot, and then cut the end that still has a loop. And again, there are step-by-step -step pictures online step-by-step -step instructions with pictures online. So you can go check those out. So after you get your two pom-poms together, your head and your body, then you can tie them together. Use those extra ties, those little, the 12 inch strings that you had, tie those together. And that'll put the head together with the body, right? You won't even be able to tell that they were there. You'll just trim them down afterwards. So I tied them, and now I'm gonna trim them about the length of the turkey body. Now it's okay if you need to trim a lot. I needed to trim a whole bunch with this first guy um, to make it look more like a ball on top and a ball on bottom, like two separate balls and not just one big blob <laughs> of pom-pom. So trim it so that it looks like two separate little pieces, a head and a body. And I did lots of different lengths to look like lots of different layers. And it will take a little while, but it will look really cute in the end, I promise. So shape it the way you want. And then prepare your turkey feathers. So you'll cut out, you can use a cup, um, a glass, anything, a round piece of tape, what, whatever you have, to cut out a semicircle, so a half circle from your cardboard or your cardstock. 
and cut out two half circles from your brown felt. Then on one side of the cardstock, you'll glue one piece of brown felt down. And then on the other side, you'll glue down your feathers and then glue the other piece of brown felt on top. So this looks like felt, cardboard, feathers, felt. Okay? So a felt sandwich, kind of. <laughs> and if you don't have felt, if you're using construction paper, that works just fine too. Um, just same thing, a brown sandwich, essentially. So get your little sandwich for your tails, glue that all together, make sure it dries nicely. Then with your orange and red felt or construction paper, if you're doing that, you want to cut out a beak from the orange, a little triangle beak from the orange, and then a waddle, which is that little red thing that dangles off of the turkey that always just looks so fun, um, from your red felt or construction paper. So cut out a beak and a waddle. And then you're going to glue all of those things on. So your feathers in the back, your waddle, your beak, and your googly eyes in the front. And again, you can use super glue for this. I used hot glue for my first one and that worked pretty well. So we'll see what happens with the super glue. I like doing the beak first because it kind of takes up the most space and is in this kind of the center of the turkey's face. So whichever side you want to be your front on your little pom-pom turkey, <laughs> you just make that your front. Glue your beak down, glue your waddle down right next to it, right next to the beak, I mean. And then glue your googly eyes up above the beak. And if you're using super glue, hopefully you won't let it get stuck to your fingers like me. Uh, I have to wash my hands really well when I'm done with this. So that's his little face, <laughs> right? And then the feathers, I like for the feathers to fan out, to fan kind of back away from the turkey, but you could do it the other way. But just glue your feathers down Get a nice amount of glue, glue your feathers, your whole back tail section onto the back side of your little pom-pom turkey like that. See, oh, see how cute that is. And then last step, the pipe cleaner legs. You're gonna fold them in half and kind of twist them around to make them a little bit thicker shape. And then about halfway down, you want to start making a little foot. So bend your pipe cleaner to make a foot. And if you have to, twist that around too. So that it actually looks kind of like a like a turkey or a chicken foot. You know, with the three little points like that. Do that with both of your pipe cleaners and then glue onto the bottom of your turkey. Just like that. So when you're done, you'll have this cute fluffy, nice little sensory turkey. You can use it as decoration, keep it as a pet. <laughs> we all love our pet rocks. We can love our pet pom-pom turkeys too. We hope that you guys really enjoy this activity. Use all those awesome fine motor skills um, and just really enjoy this Thanksgiving season. We'll see you next time. Bye.